Hello everybody, this is Sirik 1983 and welcome back to Luna the Silver Star. Alright, so in this video we're going to be going into the Goddess Tower. Sweet. Alright. Alright, so this place, uh, each of these floors is virtually identical aside from where the door is located and uh, the treasure they have. So anyways, uh, there's only two enemies you fight in here. There's uh, giant flying heads, I don't know what they're called. <laughs> I don't know what any of them are called, but uh, yeah, the giant flying heads have about 600 HP and the other guys have uh, about 400. Uh, neither of them are weak against magic, and neither of them are really weak against physical attacks, so just pick your poison and go all, the, all out on them, and you should be fine. And they, they are pretty strong, so you want to try and keep Alex uh, Alex uh, absorbing most of the attack, and maybe Kyle as well, so... Anyway, so, uh, let's get this treasure. Alright, I accidentally made me a run from that battle, so everybody had to run from that battle, so yeah, I just used an Althena litany to heal everybody. I guess this way. Sage's Cane. Uh, it's the second most powerful cane in the game, but uh, I'm gonna be getting a better one, and the recovery cane is uh, invaluable right now. <laughs> Man, Kyle's taking a beating. Let me guess what the next one's gonna be. In essence. Hey! <laughs> uh, crap, I forgot which way I was going. Oh, yeah. Ah! Er, yeah. <laughs> that? Just like Luna. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, <laughs> gee, I wonder what that's hinting at. Whoa, oh, who are those guys? Well, let's get the treasure chest first. Uh, as we can. And the goddess cane. That's why I didn't want to equip the sage's cane, because this one is better. <laughs> it's the best cane in the game, so there we go. And it actually casts, uh, I think, healing litany. So I'm gonna heal up. Uh, actually, I only really need to worry about healing up Alex. Uh, I'll use the Holy Flute anyway. And I might as well use the Silver Light as well. <laughs> we don't get much for it in terms of silver anyways. Alright, so let's talk to these guys. Are you the one searching? Are you the one hoping? Are you the savior of the goddess and our world? You possess the powers of wisdom, courage, and truth. No, 
uh, prove yourself wor self worthy of the title Dragon Master. And yep, they challenge you to a fight. <laughs> well, these guys are. Eh, they tend to favor magic, but if they actually do manage to get an attack on you, it's like considerably more powerful. It, it, it probably only do about 50 damage to you because your, your defense is so high, but their magic attack is preferable because it's really weak against you. Um, so yeah, these guys each have about 1800 HP, so as you might be able to guess, the best method is just to use your most powerful spell. You do possess the sacred power of the ages. Now take Althena's sword for your own and face your destiny, Dragon Master Alex. Yeah! But all the dragons are dead, so how can he become Dragon Master? Ah, dear child, you still cannot see the truth, can you? You are the way to Dragon Master, for you are the offspring of a dragon. Ah, there you go. Nal is officially declared a dragon. Alright, there we go. So then, it must be the child of Quirk. Well, who would have thought? <laughs> I have become the last dragon. And Holy Light, this is the most powerful spell in the game, and in case you haven't noticed, Alex has got new new digs on. There you go, he's got a new avatar suite. Um, yeah, even if you go in here. Haha! <laughs> it looks like the Shredder. <laughs> Alright, so let's equip that uh, Althena sword. Uh, well, let's see what it does first. Uh, so we got 232 attack. And that goes all the way up to 302. There you go. Alright, and also, as you might notice, you got a spell called Holy Light. If you cast that during a regular battle, it'll actually remove the people, remove the enemies from the battle. But if you cast it during a boss fight where you can't, like, you know, instant death them, uh, it'll do, do around 500 damage to them. So there you go. Yeah, so that's that. Um, yeah, so I guess that, that's it. Uh, I, I'm trying to decide whether I should continue on. Uh, yeah, I think I will. All right, so I'll head out of the uh, I'll th out of the tower here, head out on foot, and I'll meet you at uh, where do I gotta go? Uh, I'll meet you at Moravia because I gotta sell off the excess equipment anyway. So I'll uh, meet you at Moravia. Alrighty, so we're back at Moravia. Alright, so I'll sell off my excess equipment, and I'll be back when I've done that. Alrighty, so I think I know what I'm going to do. Um, the Sage's Cane is very useful. It actually casts Deep Protect, um, and it, 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 well, it, uh, it's pretty much what you think it does. It uh, lowers the defense of, one, uh, of the enemy, but it actually stacks. So the more you use it, the more effective it is. Um, I'm eventually going to put that, I, I'm probably going to put that on, uh, on Nash for coming up because the things we're going to be fighting are, are things that we've been fighting as bosses so far, so uh, yeah, their defense is very high, they're machines, so yeah. Um, so I'll keep the Sage's King anyway, so what you want to do is you want to pretty much load up on all the Herb, Herb of Althenas and Herb of uh, Seeds of Vigor, so let's, uh, I have uh, done the math in my head here, I want... Reza now to, uh, I'll head back to Reza to the, uh, 
uh, Thieves Bazaar, and I'll buy the uh, Seeds of Vigor there. Alright, I'm back in Riza here. Uh, yeah, so I sold one of the Althea Nerves, just in case I get a... There is one treasure chest I'll be getting as soon as I get in, pretty much as soon as I get in there anyways. Uh, so yeah, I've got all these uh, Althea Herbs and uh, Seeds of Vigor, and I've got everything pretty much uh, set up, and I did give the uh, Sage's King to uh, Nash because his, uh, his strength is going to be pointless right now. So let's I'll head back to uh, Moribia. And yeah, you want to have the uh, Dragon Wings equipped as well. Alright, so I guess that's it for this video. And in the next video, we will officially find the grindery and hopefully put it out of commission. This is Sir 1983 signing off. See you next time.